Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of PDQPD. Uh, my name is John Sedwick. I hope you're all staying safe and sane. Uh, today I want to get right to our topic and that is something that everyone will have an interest in and there has been a material change, that means cosmetic change, to the sharing settings in Google Drive. So that means anytime you share a file, the way it looks is going to be a little bit different. The functionality is all the same and it's actually a little bit more efficient but it looks different visually, so I want to take you into what that looks like. So I am in my drive, and I'm going to choose this file here that's already been shared with some folks. And then I'm going to go to the share settings. And you can see the look of the share settings is a little bit different. Now what this does do, here in the share window, you can see the two people that I've already shared it with. And unlike the previous version, it shows you their, their access right here from this window. So you can see that both Andrea and Larissa both have editor rights to this document. By selecting the down arrow, you can change those rights to comment or to view. And then you also have another option that was previously kind of buried down in the settings a little bit, and that is to limit access to a certain period of time. So I'm going to go back to Andrea here and down here where it says give temporary access this is the old expiration window and you can choose when you want to allow access to this document to expire you can click this window brings up a calendar choose your expiration date and a time and click save and that's how you see the share settings going to go back to the share window again and you can see that she's it's shared with her as a viewer and it's got the little uh, stopwatch icon on it so you can tell that it's been limited. I'm going to go back and turn this off and allow her edit rights again and I'll show you if you are an owner of this document you have a couple of other different options that are up here in the settings gear and before you had to go into advanced settings, and these are the uh, allowing editors to change permissions and share. Right now, the default is on. And viewers and commenters can see the option to download, print, and copy. If you want to leave those on, leave it as is. If you want to turn those off, simply check the boxes, and they will be turned off. Just like before, if you want to share with an individual, you can go up here to the share window and you can type in with whom you would like to share this. You can either type in the email address or a group address if you have a group set up or you can choose from your contacts which is I have some contacts here and I can choose these contacts or I'm just going to go up here and type in just to show you how this works. And you can see it's added my other account so I will add that. It'll give you the option to notify people in the message. And by clicking send, you're all set to add people. This one tells me I'm sharing outside of my organization, which is okay. And then the last thing I'd like to show you is how to share with a link. So I'm going to bring up the same window. And this is a pretty handy feature. Down here below where it says get link, you used to have to go into this particular window by itself in some of the advanced settings and then change the access to make it work. Well, now, if the access is set the way you want it, you can go right here to this copy link click this button and the link for this is copied onto your clipboard and you can paste it into a chat room or into an email or anything else. Um, now you can see here this right now the link is set for restricted which means only the people that I have already shared it with would be able to open the link but in order to change it I have a couple of options I'm going to look down here on the change to Anderson Community School Corporation and when I click that it changes it to allow for Anderson Community School Corporation um, users to see this or if I click the down arrow I can also make it anyone with the link and that would be anyone in the entire corporation or I'm sorry anyone on the internet would be able to see it so I'm going to leave this with Anderson Community School Corporation and done now when it's set like that I can copy that link and it will be set for anyone in the corporation can view and that's, that's the simple way to copy it. I hope this is helpful to you. Please feel free to share this video with your students because they will need to know this as well so that they can accurately share documents with you. And I encourage everyone to 
click the subscribe button down below this video so you can have all of my videos, past and future, all in one place on your YouTube. Hope this is helpful to you, and as always, have a great day.